to try to uh, point out to you as we go throughout the day are the instruments that we're playing. Because we are playing a lot of different instruments. The first piece featured a VL, not a violin. And um, now uh, we've switched to Joe de Gamba, and we have soprano and tenor and chorus.
act three and they kind of came in quartets. So uh, we just were playing the alpha size today. Here's a double read inside the tab. Yes, the fuzzy sound. So the next piece um, is uh, a duet between uh, two tenor recorders. And you might notice that uh, that uh, the dates on uh, Chevy are 1696, 1692. <laughs> well, of the uh, instrumentalists of the Renaissance were, were quite clever in all of their instrument making, but they weren't quite so clever to have died before they were born. <laughs> uh, it's actually 1696 to 1762. We apologize for the error. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing to mention is that uh, we will be playing the prelude and the rondo, but not the music. So there will be two duets.
work. And so you'll see us now for the next next few songs doing trees. Sonatas, sorry. I also would like to mention that um, the Baroque was a high time for the treble or alto recorder. There was a lot of solo uh, music for it, um, as, uh, as well as um, being the voice top voice in the sonatas.
social afterwards. Um, and also, several of us play in a Renaissance band called Music of Era. And our spring concert is April 28th. So if you want to hear a lot of really old music on obsolete instruments, <laughs> there's your chance. It's downtown Gainesville, First United Methodist Church at 7.30, Music of Era concert. We'd love to see you there. And we'll go out with Pavaldi. <laughs> Thank you.